The Jupiter DEX just announced active staking rewards. So for staking the JUP token and voting on governance, you'll be eligible for upcoming airdrops and rewards. Round three of LFG voting just opened up where you can vote on three potential candidates to be onboarded to the Jupiter DEX. So for staking and voting on governance, the Jupiter DAO will be distributing 50 million JUP tokens and 7 billion WEN tokens. So today I wanted to cover a quick guide on how to stake and vote with your JUP tokens and make yourself eligible for these upcoming airdrops. This is a quick and easy tutorial. Let's get started. So by participating in active staking rewards, again, 50 million JUP and 7 billion WEN tokens are up for distribution. So to acquire the native JUP token, you would simply swap some for some Solana or some USDC and every one JUP token will equal one vote. So the higher the amount of JUP tokens you hold, the more voting power you have. So to begin staking and voting, you would visit the homepage JUP.ag and you can click on vote now here or navigate to this cat icon and click on the governance tab and as you can see close to 500,000 unique wallets have already began staking so here you would navigate lower and go ahead and enter the amount of Jupiter you would like to stake you would simply hit stake and approve the transaction great that was confirmed and like I mentioned the higher the JUP tokens you hold the more voting power you have it doesn't necessarily make sense to spread out your vote across different wallets you can simply concentrate your vote into a single wallet so that now that that's staked, you would scroll lower and your proposal section is here. So as you can see, round three of LG voting is open. We would click here. So you only have a few days to act on this round three voting. Make sure you vote as soon as possible. So for round three, we have three potential candidates that will be onboarded to the Jupiter DAX and they are the Bridge, Exchange Art, and Divi Bet. And if you want to learn more about each of these candidates, you would click on view discussion. And here on Jupiter Research, it would give you a complete breakdown of these three different different projects. The first Canada is Devi Bet. They are a betting platform built on Solana. Pretty cool. Next up, we have Dbridge. Dbridge is a cross-chain bridge where you can perform swaps with over a dozen different blockchains. I'm a huge fan of Dbridge and I do know they have an upcoming airdrop as well. So keep an eye out for that. And lastly, we have Exchange Art. Exchange Art is a NFT marketplace built on Solana. So between the three, I do think Dbridge has the most potential, especially with their upcoming airdrop. So with that being said, I'm going to cast my vote for Dbridge. So once you make your selection, you go ahead and click vote and confirm the transaction action. Great, that was approved. So now you won't know the final results until the voting period ends. So keep an eye out for that. And so to be eligible for rewards, it doesn't matter on who you vote for as long as you vote. And you can always view your staking and voting dashboard by clicking on the governance tab. And here you'll see your voting power and you're always free to unstake your current tokens. Keep in mind to unstake would take 30 days. So there you have it, a quick guide on how to stake and vote your JUP token. I'm super bullish on the Jupiter DAX and the upcoming launches on their roadmap. Definitely stay up to date with everything Jupiter related on their official X page at Jupiter Exchange. And don't forget to check out my YouTube channel where I have tons of other airdrop tutorials. So who will you be voting on for round three? Let me know in the comment section. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.